Right guys, these are the massive rib steaks. Kenny got these today. It's literally £10, buy one, get one free. So they're like £5 each, that's my hand. Look at the size, absolutely huge. So I'm just doing them for me, Kenny and Ellis. This one can go in the freezer and I might do that one by myself another day. Now to do, um, to go with this, I've got some lovely asparagus. I've never had asparagus, but I'm doing them. Onion, some rosemary. I'm gonna make some garlic mushrooms. And I still have half a bag of this wild red shrimp. And obviously just seasoning, just basic seasoning for a steak. Some wild rocket and some bistro salad. So that's it. I'm going to start cooking it now, guys. Absolutely huge, them. That one's mine. Ho ho. Right, so here's me lovely big steak. What I'm going to do now is take it out of the packaging, season it up. Absolutely beautiful. So it's best to just keep it so simple when you're seasoning steak. So we're gonna hit it with a load of salt first. And then I've got some cracked black pepper. And I've also got some uh, ground white pepper. I'll put some of that on. Just need to open it because it's a new pot. Nothing that's on. Plenty of pepper. Mm. Pat that in. Turn it over. Wow, feels so tender. Again, hit it with the salt. Cracked black pepper. First time I'm ever, ever cooking anything like this, so if I'm doing anything wrong, don't judge. <laughs> Hopefully I'll get it right. Pat that in and set that to one side. Wash my hands. oven on preheating and I've got my pan there heating just on low getting it lovely and hot so next what we need to do is prepare the garlic I've been watching YouTube videos and what they've been doing is just cracking the garlic so I've got my cloves here so all you do is to crack them oh Papa squashed that one didn't I just meant to Break them up, man. Oh well. And that just lets the juices. Come out. That'll do. So that's me garlic cracked ready. Put that big bit in there. And um, the next. Some nice rosemary. Wow, that's strong. Basically just going to put a couple of sprigs of rosemary in with each steak. And there. And of course some lovely lure pack. So I'm now going to take these over to the frying pan and we'll start cooking this steak. Right guys, so this steak I mean, sorry, this pan is very hot. What I'm going to do first is put just a little bit of vegetable oil in. Because if you put butter in now, it'll be ended up burning. You just put the butter in the last minute. Um, just to flavour it up, really. Right, so we'll let that oil. 
this bad boy in. That's it. That's what you want to hear. So we'll stay in there for two minutes. Put the time out on there. I'm going to leave it alone. Out of two minutes. Turn the oven off. Flip this over. Mine, Kenny's and Ellis' steaks there, all being pan seared, ready for the oven now. How delicious does them look? Oh, Oof. beautiful. I'm going to pour the remainder out of that pan over them, all the juices, and stick them in the oven. Right, now let's prepare the mushrooms, now that the steaks are in the oven. Um, these are just button mushrooms. Right, so I'm going to do them quite chunky. Just quarter them up. Right, so I've chopped all my mushrooms. Turn the gas on. them down. Pan here, asparagus, put some water in. first and then I'm going to add some garlic puree and I'm going to grate a little bit of cheese in because the cheese just melts but the, um, the cheesy oil coats the mushrooms taste beautiful.
because extra strong mature. Just melt and literally, like I say, coat the cheese, uh, coat the mushrooms in a lovely cheese flavour. Good old garlic puree. Mmm, smells beautiful. the mushrooms lovely when you add the puree it goes like a lovely creamy sauce for some reason <gasps> I've just had a little taste of one they're absolutely gorgeous so I'm just gonna keep them on low let them soften up a bit more oh <gasps> god but that sauce even on the steak will be delicious yummy now I'm just cooking off some shrimp what I had in the freezer I had a half a bag left off uh, my last shrimp one so I've saved some of that lovely oily garlic eat sauce off the mushrooms and I'm just cooking them in that. And add some salt and pepper to them. Sorry guys, I thought I had pressed record. I've just made up some of my lovely peppery, creamy gravy. Loads of pepper in there, goes beautiful with steak. Just made that as well. reached 2,000 subscribers. Thank you so much everybody for helping me get to 2,000 subscribers. I cannot believe I have 2,000 of you lot, lovely people, watching little old me from Newcastle. Thank you so much. I'm so happy. So today, as promised, we've got some of these lovely big rib beef steaks. Oh, massive they are. Kenny's over there enjoying his now. He says the Voila, beautiful. So he has just the steak. You've seen how I've done it in the video beforehand. So beautiful garlic mushrooms. Wow, I've just had a few of them. Beautiful. And these are the lovely shrimp. And I've also poured the juices of the garlic mushrooms over the shrimp, over the asparagus. Trying this for the first time. And I've also poured it over my steak. So that's lovely garlicky, cheesy juices. Oh. And then I've got some lovely, this is just the bistro salad and rocket. I've put some balsamic vinegar on. And when I come to eat it, I've also got lovely creamy Caesar salad dressing. I'm going to put some of that on when I'm ready. I've made me beautiful, lovely peppery beef sauce to go with it. Oh God, I'm so, so hungry. I cannot wait to dig into this. Got some ice. And got some more American cream soda. Let's fill this up and then I'm going to have a... <gasps> What will I have first, guys? I'm so excited. Them steaks are a proper bargain. You get, you buy one, you get one free. I said, you buy one, you get one free. <laughs> uh, but they're only ten pounds for two. It's like five pound each for a humongous steak like that. But the um, fat butcher's quite hard to get to. That's where it's from. The fat butcher. There's two of them, um, but they're quite far away. So Kenny got one of the lads who we worked just to go and get some the day. Uh, but he says, oh, the way, oh, they've got beautiful stuff. They've got like packs of three, eight to ten ounce fillet steaks for ten pound. 
big T-bone steaks, eight ninety nine each. Then we're one, well then one kg. The key, um T-bone steaks. No, no, the T-bone steaks, the other one, the eight ninety nine ones. They were very heavy steaks anyway, they were massive, but they're just eight ninety nine each. You'd pay five, six pounds for a crappy little steak, like an Aldi or somewhere. But the size of these are huge. Can't wait to get in. Mmm. Love that drink. Hey, right, I'm gonna dive in for some garlic mushrooms first, guys. Yeah, so like you've seen, I um, grated cheese over these and it's just melted and became basically an oil. Oh, so they're covered, coated, lovely garlic mushrooms. Mmm. I absolutely love these. Try a lovely shrimp. Mm. <laughs> this would be literally my last meal. You know, if I was on death row, this would be my last meal. Mm. Let me try one of these. Just boil them and then like I said put the um garlic butter cheesy sauce over it what was left in the bowl. Mm-hmm. Nice. I like. Mmm. What do you think of them, Ken? Asparagus? Have you had one yet? Nice one, there. Aye, where were we, Ken, when, um, was it Saturday? When my mum messaged us and said, Woohoo, Hella's got a 2K. Because yeah. she's like my number one fan. She like, sounds as straight away if something's happened on YouTube. <laughs> Only one thing I don't have is steak knives. I'll have to invest in some steak knives. A little bit more done than I wanted, but God, my first time doing a thick steak like this. And it's cutting okay, considering it's just a normal knife. Oh God, this board's gonna... Oh, wow. I'm just gonna have a taste with no sauce on just for now. Mmm. Alright. Was that easy? What? Was it easier? Mm. I think that's a cheese knife. Oh yeah, it's much better. Oh, that is just so lovely. Mmm. The juice is coming off it. Mmm. Wow. Oh my god. So yeah, this is like a surf and turf kind of. I thought them I had I thought I had more shrimp than I did to be fair. It has to be done in the beef steak sauce. Mmm. Mm. 
This is amazing. Definitely go back there for a nice steak. I'm going to knock this thing off the table in a minute. Whenever it'd be better if I just picked it up. Move that out of the way because my arms are going to knock it off. I should have done a thumbnail like that. Put loads of pepper on it. Pardon me. It's very chewy. <laughs> Tastes beautiful, though. Mm. Quite a bit fat in between it, to be fair. Maybe he's got the fillet steaks. I love fillet steaks. It's a big chunk of fat that. Oh, it's filling me. Plan this lovely video and I think I'm just going to be wrestling with this stick. Didn't want to play.
I'm starting to think, I wonder if that's why the two for ten pound, because it's mainly all bone and fat. It just took ages to cook this as well. I'm still going guys, I'm still going to go. Get this round of fat off and then flip it. Some celebration video of this. Doesn't help that I haven't got a decent knife. How tough that is. Jesus. Yeah, I think I give up. Mm. I think I've had like literally three normal bites. <coughs> the flavouring on the steak's beautiful as well. It's just the meat's dead like well, there's that much fat among it. It's like, oh, two knives. That's me fork. Yeah, I thought this was going to be so lush. Did you have much fat on yours, Ken? God almighty, I think I've had three decent bites out of it. Is that Ken, you down to the bone now? Mm. That bit was beautiful. <laughs> mm, I'm good. Because the flavouring on the steak is just beautiful, but... That just looks like fat. Yeah. Right, that's all fat. Get rid of that. Look at this. Well, so we've paid £10 for a lump of fat. But, well, guys, looks like I'm just going to have to enjoy me shrimp and me garlic mushrooms. So, there you are. Beautiful shrimp. Them won't let us down. Mmm. I forgot I got my salad still. So disappointed. Oh. So me and my mum were uh, having a bet at me nana to how long it would take us to get the two. And I was thinking maybe it's Monday, Tuesday. And she said I think Wednesday. But no was Saturday so thank you very much everyone who's hit that subscribe button make sure your notification bell's on as well just so you know when I've uploaded next and please don't unsubscribe after this video <laughs> it's not what I thought it would have been I've been looking forward to them steaks all day as well and they look beautiful as well when I was cooking them I was really like pleased with myself thinking oh I've done these lovely Mm. Never mind. I bought two lovely <coughs> big steak pies. So I'm going to do pie and mash next. 
I'll do that tomorrow because this was just a letdown. Mm. At least I've tried this now. Nice. Haven't done much at all over the weekend. Just took Spencer to his friend's birthday party. Uh, and then came home. Right, I'm going to put a bit ranch on this. It ranch. Caesar dressing. I wish it was ranch. How are you just shook you, man? Yeah, nothing's going right, is it? That's it. Yummy. Have some lovely bistro salad and rocket. Mm. That dressing's lovely. Um, salad seeds. I'm just going to munch on a load of salad. Microphone's dropped. Everything's going wrong. Salad, <laughs> salad in my teeth and on my lips. And put some more of this in here. It's beautiful. I'm just going to munch on a load of salad. Poor me. Mmm, <coughs> beautiful that. I'd already had balsamic vinegar on it. So this has just tasted it up that little bit more. Wow. Messy but delicious. Mm. I could live off this, you know. Guys, I feel like this video is a massive fail. I'm still going to post it though because it's meant to be a flipping celebration video.
best part of this video <clears throat> is going to be all the cooking I've done to make it. So if I was you, I would just watch me cooking part and then click off. <laughs> hey, hi. I'm so disappointed. But I am still so happy that I've got a 2000. I wouldn't care. I've been watching loads of videos on how to cook a nice thick steak. Just pity it had loads of fat in it. It wasn't like one decent mouthful. <clears throat> That's gorgeous, that um, Caesar salad dressing. Nice and creamy. These couple of days well, I feel I finally f um, feel official. Ta da! I should have been using that for my salad, shouldn't I? I've been dying for these. I see them on loads of people's channels. They were only uh, one seventy odd for them both, one pound seventy nine or something. They must have came from China though, because <clears throat> they have took weeks to come. But you don't mind. I wasn't in no hurry, like. Because there was loads that were like about £14 just for a set of two. And then would have been like next day delivery, but don't mind waiting. Get the get a bargain. Lovely that salad. <clears throat> well guys, I really apologise for this video, but I promise I'll make it up to you on my next one. Like I said, it's probably going to be pine mash and peas, or if not, I'm, um, I've got stuff to make a nice chicken Caesar salad wrap. I've seen them on um, Black Hoodies, a few uh, was it last week sometime? Oh, they look so delicious and crunchy. <clears throat> so be one of them two I'm going to make. Mm. Right, I'm going to go drown my sorrows. Thank you so much for watching, guys. <clears throat> I was going to say, I hope you enjoyed the video, but if you have, then you're a true supporter. <laughs> um, I tried. Not my fault the steak was full of fat. Would have been the, the top and like the how I coated it and everything tasted beautiful. It's just like the chewiness was too fatty for me. Next time I'm definitely going to get the fillets. No fat in them. But thank you for watching anyway guys. I love you all and thank you once again for subscribing. See you later. Bye.